Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's FCICA webinar. My name's Billy. I'm with Freestone, and I'll be producing today's session. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to run through just a couple of housekeeping items. First, I'd like to go over the audio options for today's webinar. In order to listen, we do recommend that you listen over your computer speakers. So please make sure your speakers are turned on and that your volume is turned up. If you do need to dial in at any time today, you will find the dial-in information listed in the lower left portion of your screen. Next, I'd like to discuss Q&A for today. We will be addressing your questions at the end of today's presentation, but you are welcome to type them in at any time. If you would like to ask a question, please click on the Q&A tab at the top side of your screen. You'll type your question in the box and hit the submit button to register it. And finally, of course, as is true with any web technology, the webinar is only as good as your internet connection. If you do have any technical difficulties, your best bet is to close all of your browsers and log back into the webinar the same way you did the first time. And with that, we are ready to begin. At this time, I'd like to throw the floor over to Christine from FCICA to begin today's presentation. Hello and welcome to the FCICA webinar series. Thank you for joining us. This webinar will be recorded. The recorded session will be housed on the FCICA Member Center and this educational portal. Mark your calendars for these upcoming webinars. On Thursday, October 28th, from, de from Design to Diagnosis, Understanding Commercial Flooring Issues, presented by Graham Copo Bianco with Novalis Innovative Flooring. On Thursday, November 18th, is Incorporating Subfloor Materials into Sustainable Design, presented by Shane Jenkins with Shonex HPS North America. And on Thursday, December 9, how do high moisture resistant products work in high moisture conditions and how can they still fail, presented by Jeff Johnson with Mapay Corporation. Visit FCICA.com to view and register for these events. FCICA's safety book, Start With Safety, is available electronically free to members and printed versions are available for $185. The safety book is an essential item to have in your office and on every job site. Purchase it on FCICA's website today. Thank you for joining us for Ardex Shower Systems. We are pleased to introduce our presenter, Mark Penine. Mark has been involved in the tile and stone industry for over 35 years. As a third generation tile installer, Mark owned his own tile contracting business for 20 years. He has worked for Ardex Americas for the past 10 years, most recently as the technical manager of tile and stone installation systems. He has presented tile and stone installation products and procedures to contractors, architects, manufacturers, and distributors. Mark is active on many industry committees, including the ANSIASCA 108 Standards Committee, the NTCA Technical Committee, the MMSA and IICRC Substrate Committee. Welcome, Mark. We're excited to have you. I'm going to turn the controls over to you. Thank you, Christine. Good afternoon. As Christine said, Today's webinar will be focused on shower systems and waterproofing for showers. We'll take a close look at the Ardex's new Towelite shower system and the benefits of using this system. We will also discuss all the components that make up the shower system. And we'll go through the easy installation of the Ardex towel shower products. The Ardex Towelite shower system consists of a graphite infused shower pan, extruded polystyrene backer boards, floor drains, both point as well as linear, and waterproofing accessories to include seam tapes, pipe collars, sheet membrane, inside and outside corners, and mixing and pipe valve membranes.
Why Ardex Tolite shower systems? There are many reasons. First of all, they're very lightweight. They're easy to cut and install. They save on physical labor as well as labor cost. And they come with a system warranty. But most importantly, there are waterproofing capabilities. This is what we all want to avoid. Our showers are used multiple times a day. We want to have a peace of mind that our shower is watertight and our home is protected from water damage. A single source complete system. Why do you need waterproofing? Most people think towel, stone, mortars and grots are waterproof. That's a misconception. They are not waterproof. Water is very destructive and can go undetected until major damage is done. Most building codes will vary from state to state, but water does not. It's always the same and it can cause extremely expensive damage. Having a good waterproofing system is only part of the solution though. The proper installation of that system is even more important. Let's talk about the shower pans. Artex Tolite shower pans are manufactured here in the U.S. They are all pre-sloped, they're waterproofed, and they're designed to make installations quicker and easier than traditional mud bed installations. The standard sizes will be available for purchase from your Artex distributor. The pans are made from an extremely dense and strong graphite infused foam. The pans also have a built-in drain assembly, making plumbing connections a breeze. All the pans are waterproofed with a sheet membrane that is bonded to the pan with Artex A plus 9 liquid waterproofing. The pans come in both point or center drain, as well as a linear option. Custom sizes and shape pans can be made into almost any configuration. The largest size pan that can be constructed is 8 feet by 12 feet. That's 96 square feet. That's a very large shower floor. So if you have a certain shape that fits your room better than most standard shapes, we can make that for you. shower drains. Towel light square drains come in matte black, brush bronze, chrome, high gloss gold, and brush nickel. Besides the basic square punch out option, here are two more design options for the drain grates. The Tallite Linear Drains come in the same five finishes, but with three different selections. You can have the standard drain grate with the punched holes, or you can have a towelable grate. The towelable grates are very are becoming uh, very popular today. And you can also have a standard metal grate cover. Whatever your preference, we can accommodate. Let's discuss the backer boards now.
Artex Tile Light Factor Boards offers builders and tile contractors a strong, lightweight, waterproof, and vapor-resistant tile base for wet areas. The expanded polystyrene foam panel manufactured with a waterproof proprietary blend of synthetic polymer mortar and an alkali-resistant fiber mesh providing a highly rigid structure with exceptional bond strength. The boards come in three sizes, the 32 inch by 48 inch and the 36 by 60 inch boards come in thicknesses of an eighth inch, a quarter inch, half inch, and five eighths inch thicknesses. We also offer a 48 inch by 96 inch half inch thick board as well as an inch and a quarter thick board. Here's a close-up picture of the structure of the wall board. It has the same structure on the front as well as the back, with the alkali-resistant glass fiber mesh, the polymeric cement mortar, and the XPS foam. So you don't have to worry if you're using the correct side. Either side can be installed facing out. The towel boards have passed numerous stringent testing protocols. The wall boards are approved for exterior vertical applications as well. Artex Towel Light also offers shower niches and curbs. We offer three sizes of niches, 12 and a quarter by 14 and a quarter, 12 and a quarter by 20 and a quarter, and 12 and a quarter by 26 and a quarter. All the niches are three and three quarters inch deep, and they all come with an adjustable shelf. Super easy to install. The curbs have the exact construction as the waterproof wall boards. The curbs are four and a half inches high by three inches wide. And they come in lengths of 36 inches, 48 inches, 60 and 72 inches. Very easy to cut with a handsaw. Every shower system comes with a contractor's pack of 160 ceramic coated screws and galvanized washers. There's also a 40 piece pack that are available for purchase as well. A very unique product is the backer board flex. It can be custom ordered for building curved walls and benches. It's a very cool option. Also, for those basement showers, those unsightly pipes that we see in the corner of the shower stall, this backer board pipe surround is a clever way of covering and tiling those unsightly pipes. Now let's take a look at the waterproofing materials and accessories. A full line of waterproofing membranes and accessories are available. The sheet membrane has a very low perm rating, making it ideal for steam showers and steam rooms. The sheet membrane comes in two convenient rules, 108 square foot size 
as well as a 323 square foot roll. These sheet membranes are installed with the Ardex modified thinset mortars. We also have the inside and outside corners. as well as the pipe collar and the mixing valve membranes. Again, these are all installed with an Ardex modified mortar. If a contractor decides he wants to use the towel light shower pan, they can waterproof existing cement board with the Artex S1K. It's a one component, two coat, roller applied, liquid waterproofing and crack isolation membrane. It's very easy to apply with no drips. It's also crack isolation up to an eighth of an inch. Or a second option is the Artex A plus nine. It's a two component cement based waterproof and crack isolation membrane as well. If you're an old school mud bed installer, the Artex 8 Plus 9 can be used as a shower pan liner and it can be flood tested in just four hours. For filling the heads of the ceramic coated screws and galvanized washers, and for sealing the seams between the boards, we recommend Artex CA20P. CA20P is an MS polymer based multi purpose sealant and adhesive. It sticks to virtually anything glass, metal, wood, ceramics, plastic, and of course foam. This product is also paintable. It's for interior as well as exterior rated and had zero VOCs. There are two options for sealing the Artex towel light shower systems. The first is where you treat the corners and the change of planes with the towel light seam tape. It's always important to treat corners and change a plane with a seam tape to add reinforcement to those areas. The board seams can then be treated with the Artex CA20P or the seam tape, whichever the installer prefers. And the second option is for your steam rooms and steam showers to use the full sheet membrane on the walls and then you tie the transition in with the seam tape to the shower pan. Let's go through some of the installation procedures of the Artex towel light system. First of all, you have to make sure the substrate is level. Remember, the shower pans are already pre-sloped, so it's very important that the substrate that the pan is installed on is level. If your floor is not level, and if it's wood, you can use the Artex liquid backer board or Artex SKM to bring that into level. If it's on concrete, you can use Artex AM100 or TL-1000 self-leveling. Now you want to remove the existing slotted flange ring from the shower drain. You don't need that anymore. You can throw it away. You're then going to apply a bead of CA-20P to the drain flange and insert the new towel light adapter flange with the existing drain screws. 
You want to snug that down with a drill. Now using a quarter by three eighths inch square notch trowel, comb out a layer of the Artex mortar to the substrate. Then you'll place the drain chamber into the bottom of the pan, making sure of a snug fit. Then you will trowel a layer of the Artex mortar on the back of the pan using a quarter by three inch inch notch trowel. So again, you're mortaring both the substrate as well as the back of the pan. You then line up the drain hole and place the shower pan into the wet mortar. You want to press firmly in the center of the pan first to ensure a tight fit connection. Then you can stand and walk on the pan to make sure you have a good bond to the substrate. Now you're ready to install the wall boards. The wall boards can be easily cut with a straight edge and a utility knife. You always want to put a bead of the CA20P on the edge of the shower pan where the board meets the pan. Start installing your screws and washers every 12 inches into the stud. You also want to install a bead of CA20P in the corner between adjoining boards. If you're incorporating a niche, trace the niche onto the studs. Then you can cut your wall boards to fit around the niche snugly. When all the wall boards are installed, now you can install your mixing valve membrane using an Artex mortar and you're going to use a quarter by 3 16 V-notch trial. Once you place the valve, mixing valve membrane into the mortar, then you'll use the flat side of the trial to remove all the air and the excess mortar. Same application for the pipe collar as well. Now you can cut your towel light curb to size and install with an Artex mortar using a quarter by three eighths inch square notch trowel. You'll apply the mortar to both the substrate as well as the bottom of the curb and the side of the curb and the side of the pan where they meet up. And finally, you're ready to treat your corners and change the planes with the Tylite seam tape. Also, as you can see, all the screw heads have been treated with the Artex CA20P.
The whole installation looks and sounds very easy. Guess what? It is. A standard shower can be installed and completely waterproofed in two to three hours. Thank you, and we'll open it up to questions. Thank you so much, Mark. Um, if the audience has any questions, please enter them now into the Q&A. Um, we'll wait just a moment. Actually, Mark, we do have a few questions. Um, I'll read those to you, and then I'll put myself on mute. Um, the first question is, What's the difference between the Tylite and Weddy system that Ardex just acquired? Um, very good question. They're very similar systems. They're foam manufactured boards, um, but they each have their own proprietary finish to the surface. Uh, they're, they're very similar surfaces, but they're not the same. So basically, a very similar product, but two different manufacturers. Okay. Next question. What is the perm rate of the membrane? It's 0 0.04 perm. Okay. Next question. What is the perm rate of the boards? I don't know the exact perm rate of the boards. Again, that would be determined by the different thicknesses of the board being used. But um, if you want to send me an email, I can definitely um, answer that question to according to the board you're going to be using for your project. Um, next question, Mark. Is there a video uh, showing the installation? There is a video that we're going to be making public shortly. Um, we just finished the video recently, and um, some of these pictures, these still pictures I showed in my presentation are from that video. Um, that video will actually show more of the installation procedures. I only grabbed a few of the pictures from that video, but that video is more detailed, and we will be putting that video on our website shortly. Okay, next question. Do you need to use an unmodified mortar to install tile on the Tylite system? No, absolutely not. Um, we actually recommend a modified mortar. Um, Ardex only makes modified mortars, but an unmodified mortar would definitely work as well. Um, please just consult with um, the tile manufacturer that you're using, the tile that you're installing. And either would work, but again, all Ardex mortars are modified. Next question. Can penny round mosaics be installed on the Tylite shower pan? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. That comes up a lot with some of the other pans in the industry. Uh, yes, absolutely they can. Because we have a graphite infused shower pan, it's very dense and it's very strong. So no issues with stalling penny round mosaics on our shower pan system. Next question. Are these products available in, in big box in my area? Robert, uh, I don't know what your area is, but um, maybe Mark, you can address that. Um, actually, I would get in touch with your local Ardex rep um, to go over the distribution points for these products. Um, I don't I don't know all the distributing distribution points as I'm in the technical department. Okay, next question. Can you use the tie light shower, shower pan without the tie light wall boards? Oh, absolutely. So you can either use the wall boards by themselves and do a mud pan or you can use just a shower pan and use cement board, or you can use the whole system. Of course, we prefer you use the whole system, but you have the option of using either or 
by themselves. Okay, and there's a question about rewatching this conference webinar. The answer to your question, uh, Arturo, and the audience is that indeed we will have this um, on the, or you will receive a post webinar email um, where you can rewatch the webinar. We'll also put it on our YouTube channel as well as on this educational platform. I hope that answers your question. The next question is, are these um, are these available to purchase now at my local supplier? So somebody's anxious to purchase them. Yeah, another really good question is, is we all know what the country is going through with um, the shipments and distribution of products. Uh, we do have these products um, at, a, at a handful of our distributors right now. Uh, we're looking to get them in the hands of all of our distributors within the next month. So they are available, but you'd have to, again, reach out to your local Artex sales rep to find out if your distributor carries the Towelite system and when they may be getting them in. Okay. Um, just checking the Q&A. It does not appear that there are any additional questions. Um, so if there aren't any more questions, then on behalf of FCICA, thank you, Mark, for presenting today's webinar. Oh, thank you very much. And thanks for, thank you to the audience for taking time out of their day to learn a little bit more about the Artex products and the Artex Towelite system. Mark, we got a quick question in between here. Sure. Um, one of the attendees is asking about the warranty of the product. Yeah, so the warranty is going to be a 10-year System 1 warranty. We've got another one coming in. Do all the floors use a quarter inch per foot slope? That is right. Quarter inch or 2% per, uh, per foot slope. Okay. Maybe we won't cut out. If anybody has any more questions, please enter them in in the Q&A to your left. We'll wait just a second, see if there's any additional questions coming through before we close out. Okay. Um, Mark, I think that's it. Nothing's coming through anymore. So again, thank you so much for presenting today's webinar. Um, Sims, you may now navigate to the Submit Credit tab to receive credit. Please note you must be signed into the education platform for this feature to work. If you have any issues, please let us know. This is the conclusion of the webinar. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great rest of your day.